Hey everybody, I am back this week with another Laura Whitaker's Sketches Reimagined. I'm going to be playing with the amazing Minte papers today. I have some fussy cut elements from the Flora Book 5, and I have a paper from the Country Fair Coat line, and then um, a 6x8 paper from the um, uh, grunge, the grunge pad. I can't think of the name right now. It just went. <laughs> now I'm going to pick a few more papers. I'm going to take my uh, brandy strip off first. So as I get to work on this layout, I have to give you guys a huge apology. I'm sorry I didn't have a video up last week for Laura's sketches reimagined. My son broke his hand and it required um, lots of doctor's visits and, and all of that. He's all sorted now and he's fine, but it was a bit of a crazy week last week and I just didn't get to my craft room hardly at all for like three days. So when I did finally get to my craft room, I had to do design team projects and get those up. And so here we are, but it's all good. I will just add another sketch to the end of this year, an extra Laura Whitaker sketch before we move on to our sketch artist for 2022. I went ahead and matted my photo on this lovely grunge paper and now I need a couple more patterns. I'm going to grab this gingham from the 6x6 paper pad and then I'm going to grab this paper right here which is also from that 6x8 grunge um, pad. So you will be seeing lots and lots and lots of minty projects this week. We already had one on Saturday. We have a one today, there will be another one tomorrow. Um, and then as we go into July, we'll be working with um, Click Kits, Watermelon Sugar Collection primarily um, for most of my videos during July, just because I love them. And we will probably have Minte paper pages too, pages coming, because I still have loads and loads. I really bought a lot of Minte paper. For some of the strips behind my photo, I am going to use smaller sized papers and kind of Frankenstein them a little bit, uh, pretty much because I know not everything's gonna show. And so I don't um, want to cut into a big pattern in case I wanna use it as a background later. Everything is going to get inked up using Vintage Photo Distress Ink because I fussy cut the floral papers that had like the, you know, the leaves. So there's one that has like more leaves that are in tones of like yellow and brown. And then there's one that has like bright green leaves. We're gonna use those two patterns primarily, or those two colors primarily. So I'm gonna go ahead and I cut that six by six paper in half. Now I'm gonna kind of run it across kind of the middle of the page. I think it's oriented a bit to the bottom. Um, and I, I don't know that I did that on purpose, but to my eye when I was creating it, that's just where it looked good. And plus we have some other layers we're gonna place behind the photo and that gingham strip, which is what we're gonna do now. So I did follow this sketch quite closely, um, mostly just because I was having fun playing with the papers and not doing a lot of design thinking, I guess would be the word to um, describe it. I just kind of followed the sketch, played with pretty papers, and created a layout. Okay, so I have this banner piece I'm going to use, and then I also cut just a triangle. Like, there's two triangles, or two other, I guess in the sketch there are tags, but we're not going to do tags. So one of those patterns that's going to go underneath, I just used my corner rounder on two of the edges. And then the other one, I'm going to pull out my Creative Memories Border Maker, and I'm going to give it a notebook punch edge. This is my favorite border maker. It's actually the only one I have, and uh, they still sell it, and they still sell cartridges for it. Um, I have loads of cartridges for it, and but I do have a few that I use quite regularly. Once I have these um, kind of underneath areas punched the way I want them, I'm going to go ahead and ink them up and then put them down and place them underneath my photo. And then we can start tucking in all of these 
leaves. So I'm not going to call them florals because I chose two papers from the pad that were not flowery. There are some in there that are very flowery. We kind of used those on Saturday, but we used some of those on Saturday and you'll see more of those tomorrow at the, um, during the cherry on top YouTube hop, which is tomorrow because it's July 1st. Uh, but for this particular layout, I went ahead and did more of the greens. And then I also pulled in this other paper that had, I think it's like different kinds of grasses. Um, so there's not really like florals as it were. And I used both of these because I felt like they matched my photo uh, much better than, you know, doing something really bright and flowery. And I wanted to show you that you can totally do boy pages with Minte papers. <laughs> so at first I was kind of thinking that I would um, maybe plan out again where I would plan out, but I just thought that I would start by planning out where all of these leaves are going to go. But honestly, um, that was going to become really, really hard, really fast because they move too much. So I'm just plucking and sticking. You're going to see me pluck and stick a lot in the coming um, weeks. Lots of plunking and lots of sticking with these uh, leaves and flower shapes. I didn't even use everything I fussy cut, which is awesome because I can pop it into the bag with some of the leftover flowers from last time. And then I'm ready to go. Next time I want to create, I have some, um, some more pages coming up which are going to come together way way easier because I have lots of fussy cut florals already done now <laughs> so you can kind of see what I'm doing here I'm just I'm mixing up the colors I'm having fun kind of just tucking them under and deciding I really did not do the um like I didn't follow the sketch at this point I was just kind of sticking and plunking and deciding where I wanted things to go so I wanted to pull in some of the elements from the uh, Country Fair die cut pack. A lot of the die cut pack I've used on layouts that are coming up soon. I still have a few of the florals and a couple of things. I have a lot of the gardening things left, but I know that those photos are coming because we have a huge garden in our backyard. And as I start to make things and as I start to um, harvest things, I know I'll be taking pictures. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these two little things that they're, I love the, some of the, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like there's a little like watering can that I'm going to use on this one. And there's just like the cutest little things. And I'm going to add a little, um, that little circle there. I think that circle says farm fresh, which I just thought was cute. And I'm going to pop it up. Plus we were at a place where we were getting all of our gardening all of our vegetable garden supplies that day. I'm going to go ahead and grab these little thickers from my stash. They're, they're pretty old. I think they're from um, maybe Auburn Lane from Pink Paisley like ages ago. Um, and I'm going to use the title His Happy Place on my layout. And then we're going to call this one done. I don't think I had anything else. I kept it really close to the sketch today. I kept it really simple, you know, just follow the sketch, enjoy your products kind of layout. Those are always fun to create now and then. You don't need to reinvent the wheel every time you scrapbook, I promise. <laughs> and here are all the close-ups. You guys, I cannot say this often enough. If you haven't purchased any Minty products from Cherry on Top yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but you need to go get some. They're so, so good. I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye.